Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have news and today's news is coming from the guys at Phase 1, creators of Capture One. And they've released a brand new version of their image editing tool. So just in case you don't know what Capture One is, Capture One is an image editing software that is developed by Phase One and you can use this to edit different image types and or different image files. And your image files can consist of uh, TIFF, JPEG, DNG files, you know, the CR2 files, your raw files and so on and so forth. And this tool is just so cool that I literally fall in love with it. I kind of pick this tool over Lightroom every day, any day. It's similar to what you can do with Lightroom, just that it has some way more functions and some way more features that you probably want to work with. Other tools that actually looks close to a tool like this is like the Lumetri tool, but of course Capture One actually stands out. And they've gone ahead to release a brand new version which is now named Capture One 20. The naming is just something that doesn't really feel so right, owing to the fact that June 13th, 2019, they did release a brand new version that is called Capture One 12. And Capture 112 is barely about five months old and there is this new version that is being released called Capture 120. I think the idea behind Capture 120 actually has to do with the new year that is coming. But then of course, let's move on. There's a couple of new features that comes with this new installment of Capture 120 and we're just going to highlight some of them and get on with it. The very first one has to do with scrolling tools. So by default in Capture One, you can literally add as much tools as you want and you can find them by simply going over to this part called window go over to the floating tools and you can get as much floating tools as you want previously you can just literally dock things around but now there is this brand new sense of having a pin up here and you can now scroll through this this used to be a nightmare before but right now you can add as much tool sets that you want so we can just simply throw in an overlay and you can scroll through them so depending on how much things you have that is how lengthy or how small the scrolling is going to be so this is a new improvement that has to do with the user experience and to me this makes a lot of sense you can also see this effect happening across the other tabs as well so you can also see that here so if you move over to a different tab you can also see that happening there so let's just go in here and add a brand new one so i can just throw in a keystone and of course you can see that so there's just this pinning thing happening here and then you can have these other ones work as much as you want so next thing that we can also look at is the cropping tool the cropping tool in capture 120 has been reworked previously you only have the one-to-one -one thingy but now you can simply use this without constraint so at this point you can move things the way you want them to be at any point and you can crop this to your heart content so you're no longer restricted with how you want to crop your stuff anymore this time you can just crop things depending on how you feel at any point in time and you can get this going there is also a noise reduction that has been made possible here and the noise reduction actually works with a brand new engine so if you install capture one for the first time or if you install an upgrade you need to come over here where you get the engine that is set to capture 112 and you need to upgrade this engine so you need to do this upgrade and get it all the way to capture 120 and so let's go over the noise reduction real quick after we've updated the engine so for the noise reduction we need to come over here or you can simply just add you know you can simply just add that tool anywhere you want so the the cool thing with this is you can add any tool anywhere you want i can simply get this tool and say i don't need this anymore and i can simply remove that I can right click and i can find a noise reduction somewhere around here so let's just go through and find it and you can drop that there so you it's not really necessary that you need to go one after the other uh you can customize your entire uh, workspace to suit what you want and speaking about workspace if you're new to capture one you can simply play with these workspaces that are here if you have an extended display of course you can do that too capture one also supports pen just in case you want to use that or in case you want to play with it so we can come over here now and let me just zoom right in and you can notice that we have a couple of noise here and there so i'm just i'm way too in so you can see that we have some noise here and there and you can use the noise all right you can use the noise reduction to actually push and get some very cleaned out uh, detail now you might not really notice so much a good way to actually look before and after is to hold down alt and click on this button and you can see what it looks like before and you can see what it looks like after you can look at what you can see what it looks like before 
and you can see what it looks like after so for detail you can also bring in some more and you can see what it looks like before and you can see what it looks like after so with this you can actually create some very impressive and interesting looking images so with this out of the way let's take a look at another new feature that really makes a lot of sense and that has to do with the high dynamic range tool so what you can do with this one is really really interesting so if i come over here where i have my high dynamic range i can choose to actually pull up a bit more of the highlight and before we actually get started what you will notice or what you can see here is i already have a brand new layer this is also one of the cool things that makes capture one shine way more the fact that you can add layers and layers and layers just like you're working in photoshop but then you can still mask these layers and you can still you know have fun playing with these layers so what i want to do right now is i have this right here and i have uh, an entire mask all over this so i want to just simply raise the highlight a little bit more so i can come here and i can raise the highlights a bit more you can see what beginning to have that you can see this around here so if i you know just go back you can see that and i can also turn the highlight down so by just simply turning it you can see we begin to get more details around here the same thing happens for the shadows so i can use this to bring this down as well and you know play with the whites and also play with the blacks now the way you play with the whites and the black directly here in uh capture one is totally different from how you get to play with it in apps like you know like lightroom so uh, for lightroom you actually play with the whites and the darks and it actually darkens the darker part and actually lightens up the lighter part on the other hand there is levels that actually does that and that actually just does the work of leveling so if i come here and just simply click on this button right here and just simply and if i come here i think you have to do that on the background layer and actually click on this button right here you would see that we have these levels happening so you can you know just toggle that back you can have an automatic leveling going on for you and you can just turn that back and forth just to see what you have and at the same time you can also get this to work or you can still use this to actually control the entire thing that you want to do and so there's also some cool stuff that used to happen with white balance so in previous versions you know you can actually get your white balance but you know it might just have a, a bit of uh you know hash time trying to get this thing done so how you can get this is by just simply clicking on this button right now you can go ahead and find the you know the part that you want to use as the white so we can actually use her teeth for example and you can see we have a better image directly from here so if we hold down alt and click over here we'll be able to see what it looked like before and now what it looks like after let's try out with something else so i can actually pick up this right now and choose to use this as the white and you can see we have a much more brighter looking image it's not like this wasn't existing there before it was existing in the previous version but i just think that it was you know not as flexible as this one is i kind of think that this one is way more cleaner compared to what we used to have before in capture 12 but now this looks way more better and of course if you want to you know play with the tints you can go in there and play with the tints the kelvins and all that stuff there is also a brand new basic color editor so if you want to work with the colors directly here this is one of the things that would definitely make a lot of sense in capture one so i'm just going to revert this all the way back to what it looks like before and by coming over here and by just simply coming over here where you have the color editor you can now use the direct color editor tool which you can simply click and you can literally take this anywhere within your image and if you click and drag all the way up you can start increasing the saturation if you click and drag all the way down you can start reducing the saturation this is pretty neat and at the same time if you click and you move left you can start changing the hue and if you click and you move right you can start you know changing the hue to the negative axis and this is really really interesting and you might probably be asking what about the lightness so if you want to add lightness to this if you click this and you start moving if you hold down alt you would notice that you can now control the lightness you can control the lightness of this as much as you want let's take a look at something else that we can use this for so we have this image here and what i've gone ahead to do is just simply create a simple mask around it the same way we create the simple mask around 
the old guy and you can use this mask you can feather it you can create different masks for different sections that you want to edit at any point in time and exactly that same idea is what we have directly here so by just simply creating the mask here you can always right click and come over here and refine the mask depending on what you want and if you think by any chance you're having some extra paint overs you can just simply click on the eraser button which is found here right click and you can come over and clean out some of these things don't bother about if they are going to you know cut through for some parts that are not so uh, important or not the thing that happens here is the minute you start cutting this or the minute you start painting or the minute you start erasing either ways what would happen is capture one has an edge dictation technique or an edge dictation algorithm and it's just simply going to go through and simply look at these things and automatically dictate the edges so once you're done with that you can right click and also simply hit refine so by just hitting refine and just simply hitting okay you can now notice we have all of that if you don't want to see the mask you think it's disturbing you can press m on your keyboard and of course you can get this out so let's try this one more time i'm selecting this and i can just simply click on this and let's actually use the hue at this point sorry so we can use the hue and move left and at this point we can move left or we can move right to simply play with the hue and get some very interesting looking stuff so we can get this and this looks pretty neat we can now select the lightness by simply holding down alt and we can make these changes so these are very very interesting times and it's really cool to see that the guys at phase one have actually done something incredible and as good as it sounds once you just simply right click with this selected once you simply right click you will be able to see uh different controls that you may want to use for this and yeah you can see all of the controls that you want to use for this just in case you want to work with this and at the same time you see have the whole thing that has to do with sensitivity depending on what you're working with at any given time so at this point once you're done playing with this you can simply now copy all right you can now simply copy your layers so you can now copy your layers and i can come over to another image and i can simply paste that layer this is definitely going to increase and help you work a bit more faster depending on what you're doing i just think that maybe one of the things that they should have done is give the option for you to be able to select what you want instead of just copying the entire layer maybe if you can select some of the properties to me that would make a lot of sense there is also the select next when which is something that is really nice except for the naming i just think that everything looks nice and i kind of prefer to look in this way right now the entire ui looks way more refreshed than it used to look like in capture one uh, version 12 and the tools look very very interesting i'm very very excited about this tool and i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section if you want to get this tool link to this is going to be in the description you can go over there and you can get a version of capture one capture one is actually presented in different flavors so just in case you want to get capture one you can come over here and you can get capture one for 30 days play with this tool see how it works for you if you're into photography if you're into image editing if you're into you know playing with some stylized renders i don't know what you want to use this tool for if you're working with other tools as well you may probably want to try this one out and see how good it is all you have to do is just come over here and get this for 30 days so one more thing before we go is that capture one has support for windows and mac so just in case you want to create that next catalog of yours or you want to try something new then you should consider using capture one and probably try this to play with it tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video you learned something from it you know what to do go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on the notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so you don't miss the next video and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace